How are we all getting along today? Well, it's the second in the series with the Premier Power Welder. We got her installed in an old farm truck, and you know what? I am tickled to death. That thing performs really well. A um, little different to learn to weld with. I've ran a few beads with it now, got her put in, but uh, I think I'm going to be totally happy with it. Got the 115 volt outlet there. I played with the grinder and ran a drill off of it. Uh, says you're not supposed to run variable speed equipment. It's kind of hard on them, but uh, it'll work. It'll serve the purpose for out in the field. To save me from having to carry that Miller Big 40G. And uh, I tell you what, uh, it uh, was not hard to install at all. Um, Could have done that in my sleep. I did uh, do something a little different. I mounted her inside an ammo can down inside the hood because I'm always slinging mud and stuff up here in the hood. And awful expensive little toy to have out there exposed. So I cut the hole there in the side, ran the leads out, moved the voltage regulator to the outside to keep it cool. Got her all sealed up nice and tight. Uh, I figured y'all will probably already know how to weld, but uh, I'll just run through the install a little bit just to show you how easy it was. So it's got one one wire. It's probably like a trigger wire. It has to go to the ignition switch, so that's probably activates the charge. Um, so if you want it to be switched, it's brown wire. Just ran her in through the fender well there. Got her tied into the fuse box. Got the other lead run across the top. Got them all nice, pretty, and loomed up. So you've got, uh, these are probably your welding leads. You've got your positive and your negative heavy cable there. And I'm assuming this is your charge wire coming from your alternator. Alternator, uh, they, I can't remember, 170 amp, I believe, 12 diode. Even a little smaller than a Delco, fit down in there real nice. It actually gives you a little extra room between the head. Uh, they run a smaller pulley on them so they can turn, you know, more RPMs and you don't have to run your engine as hard. Came with the entire wiring loom, just is kind of plug and play, real simple. Um, for the welding, I only had to run this thing about, oh, 1,200, RPMs to weld with, and, uh, that, that's not bad at all. Uh, it does, you do have to hook up a hand throttle. Wasn't too bad to get in there. Comes with a little chain, so it gives you some slack so your throttle operates properly. Got a good quality stiff cable. Got to run inside the cab. Got her mounted down there, just... Get to idle her up a little bit. That's kind of like redneck cruise control. I tried her out on the road a while ago. That was pretty cool. My old trucks never had cruise control. Uh, to run the power tools, you have to idle it up just a little bit more, but I still wasn't over about 1,700 RPMs. Um, went ahead and ordered the welding leads with it from Premier Power, and uh, I was happy I did. Them from pretty good little leads. They'll definitely serve the purpose, and that kind of stuff's getting hard to come by around my neck of the woods. And I know old copper cable's gotten expensive as heck, so I think I still came out on top. And if I didn't say so, I did in the last video, the customer service was spot on. I ordered that thing uh, in the evening. They called the very next day wanting to verify, you know, my truck that I was going to put it on. Wanted to make sure that I wanted the old single pulley instead of the uh, flat belt and uh, make sure the engine size and all that good stuff and told me if I had any more issues or had any issues, gave me their tech line number. So happy as could be. Uh, one thing they do stress is that you do not switch anything off idle. So in order to switch it on weld, you have to have it idling. Then you come out here and flip the switch. Same with the power tool setting. And then before you switch off, you let her idle back down. Uh, if not, she's hard on the relays and stuff inside and you'll end up replacing stuff. So, got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them. Like and subscribe. Always up to something. The old farm truck, she's coming along good. She's getting ready to get the uh, onboard air compressor. I've had this big old ugly bumper on the front for years. I just think that thing's been dying to be an air tank. So I tapped her out today. Got pipe fitting down in there. So the next thing she's going to be getting is a couple air compressors. Yep, y'all have a happy holiday. Catch you later.